me, I appreciate it, and I just give gl glory to God, you know, for allowing me to come out here and compete with these guys because they were jumping really well, you know, and uh, they definitely put the pressure on me, and I just had to respond. I had to respond, you know, and uh, put put it together for myself, you know, and you know, just not let them run off on me, <laughs> you know. With Nelson, you know, that guy is. In his late 30s, still PR, and then the young guy from Brazil, you know, he's he's had a great season. So, you know, for me to be in the mix with those guys, you know, I I don't take it for granted, and I, you know, I appreciate the gold medal. What emotions go through your mind when it jumped right off the Ah, finally, finally, I put one together. You know, because I just wasn't putting it together. I'm rusty, man. I've I've only jumped three times since October, including practice. You know, so. I'm still trying to get into a rhythm, you know what I mean? And uh, I just wasn't hitting the right positions and things like that. So, yeah, when I did, you know, the, it showed in the mark. And then, uh, yeah, I just continued to try to get in my rhythm. Wait, so you haven't been jumping in practice? I've jumped once in practice since October. I haven't I haven't been uh, able to practice. I had the flu and, uh, you know, I just was trying to get over that. And so I just wasn't practicing for a while, you know, for a long time. So, other reasons? I mean, the flu doesn't last like five months. Well, for me, it, 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 it had me down. Yeah. It had me down, but not for five months, though. It was, But I had to take a long break, you know, and when we started to jump as a group, I couldn't, I couldn't jump, you know. So I had one session of jumping before U.S. Nationals, and then I jumped at U.S. Nationals, and I came out here and jumped here, you know, so it's my third time. How much do you typically jump, like, if you're fully healthy at this number? Once a week. Yeah. Once a week at least. I would jump at practice, you know, but, uh, you know, when, whenever, you know, you, you have it, you know, I feel like I've, I've jumped so much in my career that, you know, I just kind of know how to get into a rhythm. And, um, you know, I just left it all up to God. Like, you know, I know I'm, I may not be 100% prepared, but my body is healthy. And um, when you get out there, you just got to compete. Uh, when, sorry, when did you say it was your jumping session at practice that you did this year? It was a week before U.S. Nationals. Yeah, so I jumped, US, I jumped at practice once. U.S. Nationals, and then here. So heading into Worlds, were you confident just because you've done it before? Even though you didn't have it specifically? Uh, I was more confident in God than myself. <laughs> um, with just the fact that he's blessed me with this gift. This is what I do. You know, so I just got to go out there and do it. I had a conversation with Dwight, and he was like, man, don't worry about it. You know, this is what you do. Go out there and do what you do. So, you know, that's, that's what I did. And it started out a little rough. You know, I feel like... I was trying to get into it and just kind of fill it out, fill out the runway and stuff. On my fourth jump, you know, I figured it out, and then, you know, from there, I was able to get the win. What sort of stuff do you do if you're not jumping in practice? Like, do you sit, try to simulate it all, or what are you working on in uh, practice and stuff? Uh, I was just really doing a lot of rehab and, and just running, but my lungs were just so bad, I couldn't even finish workouts. You know, I just was really struggling. You know, you can ask my coach, I was really struggling at practice. And I didn't, for a while, I didn't know what was wrong with me. You know, I'm just like, coach, I just don't feel like myself. I don't feel like myself. And he's like, man, just take a break. You know, took a break. You know, doctor prescribed me some antibiotics. I went home, had some home-cooked meals for my mom for a week. Um, and just, you know, got treatment with my chiropractor. And then uh, a week later, I went to USA's. And then I made the team. And then uh, now I'm here with the gold medal. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing outdoors. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm getting ready to release an album, um, a music album, so I think uh, that might be my focus for the rest of this year. So, uh, we'll see. Does that have to do with winning today? No, I think it was just something that, you know, I've, I've kind of been wanting to do. You know, uh, it's just a passion of mine. I really want to pursue music, and I feel like this is the time to do it. I've, I've competed at the championship. There's no outdoor championship, so now is the time that you know I feel like I, I can do that step away for a little bit. Um, but still, a decision I have to make. I'll, I'll wait, you know, a little bit and think it out, see what uh, my coach thinks about it. But yeah, I really want to you know pursue my music for right now. So does that mean like you're traveling around promoting it? Like you already recorded the album? I've already recorded. I've recorded two albums so far. I have a studio at my house that I've been recording on. So. Yeah, I'm actually releasing a single tomorrow, and uh, yeah, so I'll just be on the road with my music, man, and uh, doing shows, and you know, just promoting my music right now. How can people find your new song tomorrow? Uh, it'll be on iTunes, Spotify, all the streaming websites, and then uh, a couple weeks releasing a, a video for a song, so yeah, I'll, I'll be putting it all on my Instagram, okay. at Will Clay, C-L-A-Y-E, so 
yeah, you guys can check it out. Come here. For sure. For the kids. For the kids. For the kids. It's called I-10. I-10. So uh, I did it with this with an artist. His name is Famous Dex. Um, he's a big hip hop artist in the U.S. So uh, we linked up, did the song, and uh, yeah. So now I'm gonna let it out. You know, most of the time I record music, but I don't put it out. But now I feel like it's the time that I can put all my music out. All right. Congratulations on the goal. Appreciate it.